Hi everyone and welcome to the first episode of the series Alto Piemonte according to Antonio Vallana. I am Marina Fogarty and Antonio Vallana was my great grandfather who established Antonio Vallana Figlio in 1937. Along with my brother Francis, the winemaker, we represent the current generation of our family winery. What is Alto Piemonte? And why should it intrigue the wine lovers? Alto Piemonte is a wine region that was incredibly famous in Italy until the 1970s. Then, as fashions come and go, the charm of the region decreased a little bit, but thankfully, wine lovers have realized the potential of this part of the winemaking world in the north of Piemonte, and I will try to accompany you through the secrets of the region and make you deeply understand why the Nebbiolo-based wines from these areas can be so outstanding, so long-lived and so complex. Through the wines that we produce with our typical grape varieties, we wish to give an interpretation, a stylistic interpretation of our wine region. Our wines represent different grape varieties. Nebbiolo, of course, is the most important one, but native grape varieties of Alto Piemonte are also Erbaluce, our white native grape variety, and Vespolina. From a genetic point of view, it's a daughter of Nebbiolo, and it's got a very spicy character. Uh, it's almost peppery, especially in the cooler vintages, and it's really, really interesting in blend with Nebbiolo or on its own. And of course, the prince, or the king, we should say, of the Italian grape varieties, which is Nebbiolo. Let's start with our white, Innominato. Our white wine, made with Erba Luce, tries to express the typical features of this very interesting, one of the many, many interesting, typical Italian native grape varieties, which are virtually obscure to the rest of the world, but isn't this one of the most fascinating things of Italian winemaking? The second wine of our range is our rosé, made from Nebbiolo grapes. So it's the attempt of capturing the aroma of Nebbiolo grape juice, the very first aromas that come out once the grapes are freshly squeezed. So a super pure young expression of Nebbiolo. The third expression of the youthful part of Alto Piemonte is through our red wine Campiraudi, a Nebbiolo Vespolina blend, roughly 70% Nebbiolo, 30% Vespolina. It's a red wine that has structure, that has complexity because of the blend of the two varieties, that shows typical features of both native grape varieties, but at the same time, it's extremely approachable and extremely ready to drink. Uh, so this really does show you a youthful side of our wines. And then the Barbera. Barbera is uh, one of the most popular grape variety of the whole of Piemonte, not just of uh, the northern part. But what's the typical feature of our Barbera? It expresses our traditional style in simplicity and purity. It's an easy to drink wine, uh, expressive of the varietal characters, uh, a medium body, a high acidity. It's really an introduction to the style of the winery and to what we mean by classic traditional Piemontese winemaking. Then we have the age-worthy expressions of Alto Piemonte, our structured Nebbiolo-based wines. We have our Spanna, 100% Nebbiolo. We have our Bocca, which is a DOC Virtually, some people, well, some people call it a single village appellation. It's one of the tiniest appellations of Italy, but one uh, with the highest potential for quality and ageability. And then we have Gattinara, which is another single village appellation and uh, arguably the most famous appellation of Alto Piemonte. Then we have our traditional method, sparkling wine made with 
rosé nebbiolo. We use the same base that we use for the regular still rosé and that's a fascinating wine that stands apart from the young expressions, the mature expressions. It's really a game that I will explain to you in the video dedicated. Thank you so much for your attention and I'm looking forward to explaining you more and educating you more in the next videos of the series. Bye!